across the top of the screen, you have seven shortcut icons which also can be found in the top menu. Below are the date and time selections, and under this is displayed a query filter or quick filter. At the bottom of the screen are eight different report categories, contained within each are various specific reports. Let's start by looking at the icons along the top of the screen. Load a report. This loads a report that has previously been created in Tiger's Q35 format. Edit View Query Filters. This allows you to access the filter management page. Auto Report Scheduler accesses the screen where auto reports are scheduled and amended. Set as Auto Report starts the auto report wizard based on the information selected from the below fields. GOSS Calculator This starts a grade of service calculator which assists in determining the number of trunks or extensions required to offer a particular grade of service based on the defined level of calls. Configure Calendars Allows you to set up a calendar for your company which can include holidays and company downtime. Report Configuration Accesses the Report Configuration dialog. This button will be covered in greater detail in its own tutorial. When creating reports within Tiger 2020, you can use two methods. The first is to use a query filter which you will need to create. The second is to use a quick filter. Filters restrict the call information retrieved for a report. So if a filter is not used, then all calls for that date and time range will be shown. A query filter is a list of criteria that instructs Tiger to look for specific types of calls. Filters can be as complex or as simple as required, and can be created to be available to anyone or only for a specific user. A quick filter can be used as an alternative to the standard query filter. By selecting this option, the user can see all traffic for a specific extension or a dialed number. You can also specify the specific switch you wish to see calls on. The next step in the report generation is to select the required date range and the time range. Either type in the start and end dates, or select them using the calendar options. Next, select the time from and to. The time range defaults to 24 hours, but you can change this to any time you require. If you want to report on working hours across several days, then tick the time each day box. This will then run from the start time to the end time of each day. Finally, you can exclude the time selection. This will allow you to report on out-of-hours calls. Once you have selected the date and time ranges, you will then need to select the View to group the report by. The View does not affect the filtering of the calls. It is merely used to display the structure in the report. For further information on the report types, see our Report Samples document. Now you have selected all the criteria for running a report, you can click Generate. 